How's it going everybody? This is a short little video on how I got DeepStack to work in Home Assistant to alert me on my mobile phone every time a person gets on the property. Um, so this is how we go. We go to the Community Hack Store. We're going to go Integrations. We're going to go Add. We're going to type DeepStack in here, which I already have it installed, but if you started typing deep in, it would find it. Uh, we need the object one. I have not done the face one yet. Um, once you install that, then you can continue. If you don't install this first, you're going to keep getting a warning uh, saying that that package isn't installed uh, or doesn't exist. So please make sure you install that first. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go and create a folder under the www folder. Um, Man, this one's big. Okay. I made mine deep stack images and then I made another folder called front yard. So if you had more than one camera and wanted to do this with more of them, you could. Um, once you do that, that's where all the images are going to be saved. So here's, here's some images of somebody on the front yard. It saves them here. If you go zoom in, it tells you the accuracy of if it thinks it's a person it's 99.6 percent correct saying that this is a person um, so that's where they're going to be saved you you have to make a folder there uh, i think that's the only folder that technically home assistant can write to and read uh, don't quote me on that i'm just going with what worked for me so once you have that folder there you're, you're going to need to install the actual deep stack uh, let's do configuration folder. Now, I run packages, but I tested it here first before I put it in a package folder. Um, this is what it looks like. So you're, you're going to need uh, the IP address of where DeepStack uh, container is running. Port 83 is the one I'm running it on. Uh, this is that folder that I created. Uh, I want the rest of them timestamped so I know roughly what time they were there. The target I'm looking for is people, or a person, sorry. Um, you can do cars, trucks. There's a big list of different things that you, you can target for. Uh, I just pick this because there's always cars in the driveway and my phone would be dinging all the time. So I picked people. Uh, I picked the camera that I wanted uh, it to keep scanning. And then I named this component something, so an entity. So when you go and do the rest of the setup, so you need a name here too. So once you got this kind of set up, um, you're, you're going to need to set up DeepStack in a container, which then I would go to Rob the Hookup uh, YouTube channel, and I would watch his YouTube channel. Now this is about Blue Iris and making it work with Blue Iris. Um, I think he goes into a little bit more than just that too, but, uh, to get the container set up, it's about 1305, um, into the video and watch this. He'll, he'll teach you how to get it, the container all set up. And once the container set up, then you put the information on where it's running, which if it's your machine that's running home assistant, then this could be local host or the IP address of your uh, home assistant um, machine port 83 is how I installed it uh, confidence level of each image only one that's going to alert me is at 50 if there's a person found in there um, this is the folder that we made earlier um, that I already had created yes I want all the other ones time stamped the person the camera I, I think I pretty much repeated myself there but whatever uh, then we're going to go to, that's where that WW was, that's where the timestamps, the latest image, and then we have to make an automation to actually make it keep scanning. So this is my automation, which works. Um, this just keeps scanning. This is only scanning when the camera detects motion. So when the camera goes, oh yes, there's motion, then it triggers the process to have it scanned and it's looking for that person. And once that's done, it creates those images in the WW folder. So you have to have this working, this part, because I, I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, I followed the form on uh, Home Assistant form and help 
section and I, could, I was like, why does this work? And I guess his automation to have it trigger is like a Python script or something. Uh, I did it this way. It ended up working. So it's scanning those images um, every time there's motion triggered on my camera to see if there's a person in there. So once you have this automation going, um, then I had another automation created here. Uh, the message is that somebody's detected. This is the image that it pushes to my phone, the latest. Uh, here's the mobile app version. That's what it's named here on mine as an entity. This is Home Assistant Android version. Uh, so it pushes the image and that message, somebody's been detected, to my phone. And it's only looking for the object person. That's the only reason uh, that image is being sent. Now, if, if, if we had cars or trucks or bikes or whatever else they scan for you could have it push those too but i'm really just looking for a person uh, mainly because my car was broken into at night so i could make this automation time based so only after a certain period at, at night that it would kick in and wake me up or at least i'd get the uh, images of the person trying to break in so i hope that helped you guys all out in the end you should have Something like this that it's saying uh, it's scanning and going, oh, yep, three cars have been detected. There's only two here, but one of them could have drove by. And this picture is not being updated unless there's a person in it. So a, a car can be drive by and it's still looking at it, but it's just not updating the photo. So and then like here, I can look at the image and go, yes, there was a person in there. It was 96.4% accurate of it being a person, so it sent this image to my phone. So, hope that helps out, you guys. Um, until next time uh, I find something interesting, I will uh, probably post another video. Thanks, as always, watching, and uh, catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.